Hi, I'm Lee Labrada. In our last nutritional video, we looked at ways to lose body fat without cutting calories. We covered a number of effective ways to do this because optimizing your diet should be your first step when you want fat loss. But you have to be careful because reducing total calories can mean restricting certain foods or food groups. And that can create a nutritional imbalance or deficiency, for instance, in vitamins and minerals. Cutting out the wrong things from your nutrition plan can also result in the breakdown of lean muscle, can decrease your energy and feeling of well-being, and even affect your ability to concentrate. A reduction of calories will also slow down your metabolic rate. For instance, if you reduce your calories by 500 calories per day, you may find yourself dropping a pound or so per week, but this may only last for a few weeks until your metabolism adjusts and slows down. At that point, you'll have to cut calories even further to continue losing weight or fat. So how do we cut calories to get all the fat loss benefits while avoiding the pitfalls? Step one is to reduce calories slowly. When it comes to cutting calories, it's better to diet longer, not harder. You'll sacrifice less lean muscle if you diet gently for a 20 week period, only cutting calories a few weeks here and there, than if you go on a crash eight week diet. So remember, slow and easy. Drastic dieting is a common mistake. Step two is the two pound rule. Once you guesstimate what you want your target weight loss to be, plan your diet so that you never have to lose more than two pounds per week. If you diet harder than that, for sure you're jeopardizing hard-earned lean muscle and energy. If you want to lose a pound of fat per week, you have to eat 3,500 calories less than your body is using. Here's an example. Let's say that your normal diet consists of 2,500 calories per day and you reduce your food intake by 500 calories to 2,000 calories per day. If you did this for seven days in a row, you'd experience a 500 calorie per day deficit times seven days for a total of 3,500 calorie deficit in that week. Since a pound of fat contains 3,500 calories, you'd probably lose about a pound of body fat by the end of the week, and that's assuming that you eat quality foods and you train regularly. The problem is that after cutting back a certain number of calories, your metabolism will start to slow down. Pretty soon, that 500 calories a day deficit that was working so well at first doesn't do anything anymore. So that means that you have to cut calories again, right? Not necessarily. That brings us to step three. Stagger your daily caloric intake. A good way to help you maintain an active metabolic rate when you're in a caloric deficit is to stagger your daily caloric intake. Continuing our example above, instead of cutting down to 2,000 calories per day and staying there every day, you could eat 2,000 calories one day, 1,800 the next, then 2,200 the next day, and so on, so that you average 2,000 calories per day. Your actual intake is always bouncing around above and below this number. Staggering your caloric intake in the range of 10 to 15% above and below your target number doesn't let your metabolism get accustomed to any one particular low uh, caloric level so uh, your metabolism doesn't slow down. At the end of the week, your total caloric deficit would still be 3,500 calories and you would still have lost a pound, but you probably would not have reduced uh, your metabolic rate. By staggering your calories, you can eat the same average number of calories over any period of time and still experience fat loss. Try this next time. In the next video, we'll take a deeper look at caloric staggering and how to coordinate it into your training. Plus, we'll take a look at caloric symmetry and one of my favorites, cheat meal day. I'm Lee Labrada for Labrada Nutrition.